Hello, uh, now I'm going to show you how to configure the league uh, tournament management uh, to handle different tournaments using uh, persistent URLs and organic groups. So first of all, uh, we have already installed and enabled the league, uh, the league modules. Uh, we also have uh, configure organic groups, but we are going to add now the organic group uh, Perl and we have to also uh, install the persistent uh, URL uh, model. Okay, so, so we are going to activate both and that will give us uh, the option to uh, create uh, different tournaments that will have uh, the, the same uh, URL to handle uh, uh, the games, the, the players, and, and, and everything around uh, these uh, tournaments. So now we have them uh, installed, and uh, we are going to to check what we have uh, now. We have we have uh, defined a content type that is going to handle. Uh, our categories that's the name we have uh, choose for them so if we see here the organic groups it has set as, as a group okay so now we're going to go to configuration organic groups and uh, uh, we're going to go into the organic group context and on the organic group context we have the uh, pearl to uh, this I have a choice to select group based on it we are also going to to define a uh, league person and league game to be uh, group content types okay so once we install this uh, organic group pearl we will uh, return to the structure uh, content types uh, categories okay define a group and now we're going to add uh, a content type category and inside the category we see that we have this path uh, we're going to use uh, 2006 for category and we are going to uh, add this uh, category 2006 here and uh, save so now we have a category called uh, 2006 that is a group type uh, we're going to go to our games uh, definition of the game uh, the game types and we're going to edit this game type and we are going to set it as a, a group as a, as a group content okay as a group content And we're going to do uh, the same for the players. So we are going to edit uh, the person type player. And we're going to set the person type player also as a group, as a content type. Now uh, let's create uh, a game. So we add a game now. Uh, the game name, let's say game one. And we're going to leave uh, everything as, as it. And we're going to set the group audience as CAT2006. So now we save uh, the game and we're going to visualize it. As you can see, now you have the game, game one, with the 2006 uh, in, this, in its URL. So everything we will create now will have this 2006 uh, URL, and we will know that we are talking about a content type that uh, belongs to to this tournament. So that that's it. 
uh, we can add different tournaments and we have to set the content type the game we can we can now add for example in the content type we have the matches or the teams uh, for example we are going to say that the teams also depends are all are also uh, group content so we have here content so now if we are want to add a, a new team let's say uh, team A team A and uh, we get the group for team A save and now we have the team A saved here as 2006 now we have a tournament called 2006 we can add that 2005 or whatever uh, you want uh, thanks